All right, this video is for a banded squat or an RNT squat. So RNT stands for reactive neuromuscular training. Uh, what we're trying to do with this is get some of these muscles to react to an external stimulus or resistance here with the band uh, by pushing against it. And in turn, your body kind of remembers uh, what muscles to engage while we're doing that movement without the band. So uh, band's gonna be on around the knees in this case. Uh, it's going to be the most effective either just below or just above the knee, so whatever is more comfortable for you. Any further up or further down in this type of exercise, it's going to be less resistance. So, uh, a medium band most likely at the knees here is what you're going to want. Get your normal squat stance and we go for pauses. So that RNT squat, we're going to pause here in a couple different positions. So, it might be one position or two or three but I like to go maybe a third of the way down like this. You pause and you push out, all right? We don't push out far enough that our knees or our toes come off the ground. We wanna make sure you're nice and stable with your feet. Pause in that position for 10, 20 seconds, depending on your needs. And we go about halfway down or two thirds of the way down, depending on how many times you're gonna pause here. And then all the way down as you go. So those are the pause squats. After that, especially if you're about to squat for your workout, you can do the same thing, just banded squats through that full range of motion. Again, just pushing out into the band with your knees each time. You can take that a step further with a med ball or a kettlebell or a dumbbell, or again, even just with a barbell like you would for your normal workout and have that in a goblet position or in a front rack position, that'll actually help to counterweight you uh, so you can get a little bit lower. Again, full range of motion or your pause squats or your RNT squats with or without the weight.